Hello everybody, today I'm just going to show you the uh, the moment distribution programming. The title of the program is moment distribution programming. Once you have this program you can manipulate the loads, you can change the load, you can change the spans, but um, but according to the pattern, that which is pattern is the concentrated load is uh, applied at mid span. Okay, you cannot change the location of the load, but you cannot you can change the the span here is ten. You can change four, five, six, whatever load you can change whatever load you want. But this pattern is the two concentrated loads applied at the mid span of AB and BC and the uh, this is the load pattern you got you got you got to follow that load pattern and the you see here the load of CD is a uniformly distributed load so here are the loads EB is 60 kilonewton it's all applied at the mid span and BC is 50 kilonewton if you're going to move this load away from the, from the mid span, then that's another programming to to do in the, uh, the Python program. Here it is programmed at mid span, and two of them concentrated loads, two concentrated loads mid span of A, B, and B, C, and the C D is uniform load. Uh, the way I program it is uh, the program will prompt you first for the spans and I translated span AB here as LA and BC is LB so that easy to recognize uh, span is L so it's easy it's easy to know it's asking for the span and CD is LC so that's why I translated it to L and then attach the uh, designation of letter A, L A, L B, and L C. Now I program it the way in the way that the program will prompt you and ask you to enter the span first. Okay, asking the program now is prompting you for the span L A, which is the A B. A B is ten. I'm gonna enter that. And then span LB, span LB is BC, it's 10 plus 10 is 20, and then LC here is CD is 10 meters. We have three spans only, right? So, and I enter that, and and I program this, and next to the span will ask the computer will, the program will prompt you for the loads. You have to start from the first load from A from A to C. Okay, load 1 is right here, 60 kilonewton. And uh, the next is 50 right here. 50 kilonewton and the CD, span CD is uniformly distributed load I, I already programmed that as a uniformly distributed load so all you do is enter the uh, uniformly distributed load which is 10 kilonewton per meter so enter just the number and there we go the program give you all the information here and the, the the balance at B, the moments here are equally balanced right here. And the at C there, joint C, there's a little bit difference, but it is literally balanced 117 uh, kilonewton meter. And the idea of the moment distribution is moment distribution is to be used when you have an uh, unbalanced moment at the joint right here it's for example uh, at joint B here is 25 and there's 125 there so therefore you're missing you have an unbalanced moment of 50 kilonewton 
meter. Uh, joint C, uh, 125 here, 83 here, you have an unbalanced moment of minus. Okay, because you, if you add this, equal that. It's a minus 41.67. And then when you have an unbalanced moment right here, see the balance? Then you can use the moment distribution. But if they're all the same moment here, see if you have uniformly distributed load to all the spans, the same loads, all the information here will give you zero because your balance is zero. If it's zero here, zero here, all this, they have nothing to distribute. This is a moment distribution, that's why it is called moment distribution. You are distributing the unbalanced moment right at the joint to every little bit of span in there and then it cycles from see this is five cycles of distributed factor d1 up to d5 and at d5 in up the balancing moment right here at joint b and joint c uh, you have to continue every cycles uh, i'm supposed to program this up to 10 cycles but the, the process of programming it's long. You know why it's long? Because I am using my own formula based on the calculation of the moment distribution itself. Like for example, how you get this 6.945. You have to develop a formula to get that. And how you get that negative there again and you have to build your own formula and have the python point python point uh, 2.7 execute your formula and there we go the uh, moment right here is balanced so it's pretty quick the only problem is when you're programming it it's, it takes a long time uh, line by line you have to check if it's correct you have to have a backup uh, manual calculation for this. I, I do. I, I do have a manual calculation before I program this. And then by looking there on the, the process of getting all this information, I translated it into program, building my own formula, including even the, the after the after the point, how many places you want to, to display, that's included in the programming as well. So here I don't have time to put the reactions. All I need is moment because I use the moment to design the structural member, right? Uh, the important thing is this: the moment and the reaction follows that. To solve for reaction is to is to is to isolate frame by frame, A, B, B, C, and C, D. You draw that isolate that joint there and then carry the moment right here so you draw a line with the reaction and the moment on this side here is minus 55.49 and the other side is minus is 114.05 that is the the moment that you're going to carry to you to pre-body diagram of AB and from there you can use the proximate method uh, using the point of inflection and then you can solve for reaction and then on and on and then go to the next uh, span they are the same thing so that's why I didn't put the reaction there because the reaction is easy after the moment first I, I need the moment to design All right. so as I said you can change all this numbers but the pattern remains the same Concentrate a load at mid span and uh, uniform load at the, the very last span CD. <coughs> See here the span is 10, the next span is 20, the next span is 10, the concentrate load 60, 50. We can change all that. And uh, let's try. Okay, let's use. Any kind of span. <laughs> All right. Um, we 
have a span of 10 there, I use, uh, I can use 6. And in the next span, I can use 10, um, uh, 15. And in the next span, I can use 19 odd numbers. And in load, I can use 20 kilonewton. And the other one is 30 kilonewton. And the uniform load. P3 C D S I'll say uh, fifteen kilonewton per meter. Press the enter you get the result. There we go. Result okay balance. So this program works. It give you the balance of cycle number five and in the in here too, the joint at C is 2.272 and the B is 36.31, they're balanced. That's all you need, the balancing moment there. This is a really heavily moment right here. You, uh, imagine this moment here, minus 451 versus 56, the unbalanced moment is 395 this is a good structure to design. This is the maximum moment. Love this. So that's uh, I just thought I want to show you how your life, how to make it easy. It's very very quick. You get the result right away. And the only, the long struggle there is building the formula to get all this information. All this line here, all these numbers here are formulated by me or by you if you want to program it. And you have to have the manual calculation as well so you can see and compare if the program works. Line by line you have to check, like see the distributive factor here. Point twenty nine there, point seventy one there. This distributive factor there is because of the span. You know, one over L, and then the summation of this and that. The 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 one over L here is divided by the summation of these two Ls in here. Uh, you don't know what to do. That. And yeah, as I said, the reaction is easily solved using this moment here by um, drawing the pre-body diagram of E B, B C, and C D separate pre-body diagram and carry that moment there apply it to the pre-body diagram you have then you can solve for the reaction all right thanks for watching i just thought you know i want to show you the moment distribution programming i have several programs here different pattern it has to be in the pattern because when you move this load here uh, away from the mid span, that's different formula of moment already, all right. And then if you move this uniformly distributed here over here, it's it's different. All right. So thanks for watching, and um, I hope I can show you more different patterns. It's really quick. So thanks for watching.